What's going on guys? Welcome to Guitars, Girls, Green Grass and Guns. Today I'm going to show you 15 reasons why a Toyota Tacoma is better than a GFT. Guitars, Girls, Green Grass and Guns. <laughs> Good day started. So I just wanted to show you guys quickly this backyard of my neighbors. You know, got the blades all sharpened up. And Tom. It's the same guy tried to shoot me. <laughs> Why is your truck in your backyard? All caps, all caps, all, all caps, all. This grass that you work so hard on. This grass that you work so hard on. See, I don't even mow this area back here because it's all muddy and Tom thought that he had a cool Chevrolet to, that could do this. I'm gonna go get my Toyota. <laughs> I'll be back. So now I gotta come back over here into my garage and get the old Toyota Tacoma. Load some chains up and get this guy out of his yard. I if I can swing these in there without. Let me tell you guys a little something about towing and getting someone out of trouble. A lot of people will pull from the rear bumper and uh, you know it's situational on what you're going to do, how you need to do it. But in this situation, my bumper, my front bumper is taller than what I'm going to be pulling. So I'm going to pull backwards. I'm going to pull from the front straps of my truck. That way, whatever, I'm going to be hooked onto something low. And as I pull back, that's going to squash the front end of my truck down. Not only that, I have the weight of my motor over my front wheels. So if I was to do this from my bed, you know, my bed, two people could probably lift my bed up. It's uh, it's just got metal sides. The rest of it is all plastic. So when, when you try and get someone out of a short situation, try it in reverse. Don't go too heavy on everything. Be sure everything's locked up. Keep it in low gear so that the transmission can handle that. If you keep it in high, that will put a lot of load on it. We're gonna get this trailer hooked up and We'll watch the toy go to work, boys. It's not really a Chevy versus Toyota thing. I'm just giving my neighbor shit. See, this is a part of his yard that I do not mow after it's rained. Like even for a long time or anything like that, because as soon as this ground gets wet, it's it's super muddy. You can see, he's, I mean, he hasn't even spun out that much and the truck just floats right on down the hill see right here you know it's just it's not going anywhere so yeah even even the trailer is just slid sideways there's nothing you can do about it uh it's like i say it's it's not it's not a ford and toyota thing chevy toyota thing but i'm still gonna give him shit
Okay, the main goal is just not to slip tires or pull the trailer around or anything. But the other problem is that uh, the yard is super small. So now we have to get the trailer turned around and now he's going uphill. And I don't really have room to pull him uphill from behind. No, what are we gonna do? We're just gonna keep dealing with the mud and baby this thing around. I haven't spun a tire yet and that was the main objective and we're out of the mud so the rest of this is just going to be some kind of like two monkeys doing something to a football. this was out in a field or something this wouldn't be a problem at all you just hook on and yank someone out but we're dealing with a pretty nice residential lawn back here he has it treated he has a mowed all the time some cool guy comes over here and trims it up all the time and cuts it so we really want to cut down on the on the ruts and everything that gets put down and what our plan is to do is to pull it forward and then back down into this corner we're not really in a position to where we can maneuver this vehicle around in the mud so we're going to back the trailer down and we're both going to pull up
So once we got the truck sideways, he was able to get some grip going sideways. And even though he just he's going slow, I can see the tires kind of sliding sideways a little bit. So now he's going to back it down into the corner. It really has nothing to do with vehicles. It's all about the the tires. So I'm going to have Tom get out and hook these chains back up. And it helps to have a little bit of meat here. BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA KO2s. The neighbor's gal, she's gonna stand down there and push us up the hill, it looks like. So we handled that with a minimal amount of damage. I think he could have climbed that hill all by himself, but I'd really hated to rut that rutted that yard up. Now I've got all of my I've got all of my tires locked up. Turn my rear diff lock off, a track off, put it in neutral, put it in four high, put it in drive, turn my four-wheel drive off. Whoa, did you hear that? All right. And then back up to my house. Hey, it's right here next door. thanks for watching i just want you to know it's not a chevrolet gmc toyota deal it's all about the tires it's all about where you park stay out of the mud i appreciate everybody stopping by and visiting guitars girls green grass and guns hit the like comment and subscribe if you would have a good day guitars girls green grass and guns what's going on guys welcome to guitars green <laughs> What's going on? Welcome to Gadur. It'll go on all day. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Gadur. Let's go to Gadur. The love of guitars, girls, green grass, and guns. Where we at? Yeah, the whole drain from his house is coming out. My hands are going backwards. I don't know what to do with my hands. That's the wrong foot. Yeah, everything from his house comes out from a drain right here. 